So actually, we are building this agent marketplace. So we are all about agents. We are providing a lot of different uh, technical solutions in order to build agents, make developer experience easy, how to build these agents. And then on the other side, we are building this marketplace where these agents can come together and then deliver on user objectives and execution. If you're interested, I can talk a bit more about our tech stack. Effectively, this, this uh, nice picture goes through about our tech stack. So here, our sort of central piece is our microagents library. Uh, this microagents library effectively provides the way of easily defining and creating microagents. Under, under the microagents, we have our blockchain layer. These microagents have blockchain identity. They register themselves with the blockchain. Effectively, this blockchain layer, you can imagine as a DNS layer. This is how people can find how to talk to agents, how agents can communicate with each other. So we have now uh, this microagent uh, library, which helps you to develop in Python, for example, agents. And on top of this, we have Agentverse. Agentverse provides a lot of services for developers in order to uh, utilize and uh, be faster and better on the development. So, for example, we provide uh, hosting services. Hosting service is all about running your agent. So we take care of the sort of the technical hurdle and complication about how to run, how to make that agent actually available. The most exciting use case is uh, usually agents are just delivering small sort of solution or microservices really. But uh, with sort of our AI engine, the user can go in, they can just explain what is their intent, what is the objective they want and then the system can pick up and assemble a set of agents dynamically on the fly, pick things and then put these agents together and that make it available. Because if you think about it, uh, we have all of these agents, right? These agents are some sort of programs, they can stand on their own, they can communicate to each other. But it's not particularly useful for them to just be available. But with using fetch technology, effectively everything can be put together dynamically. So the developer is only caring about what is an agent. Let's develop that agent. Let's deliver the code and make it available on Fetch AI Marketplace. And afterwards, users and uh, other uh, developers can use a set of agents and everything sort of on the fly put together dynamically. So this is sort of the uh, role of AI engine. This is um, our LLM based solution where user can go and interact via natural language. This AI engine provides a natural language interface and using natural language you can just express what is the objective you want to achieve and the system is going to first of all find out what are the different uh, agents, how these agents need to be connected together and after the sort of these are figured out what are the different agents. The system goes to the next bit and then it can actually go and talk to those agents and find out all the information from the user using natural language, what is required in order to talk to those agents. And then in the end, it provides the overall execution using the set of agents to the user. Uh, we also have Delta V, which is our developer-focused UI, effectively our AI engine is API first, so we have our API exposed. Anybody can go and develop their custom application or their way of talking to this API so they can get exposure to this agent marketplace. But we have this developer focused UI which just simply talks to this uh, AI engine API so when you are developing agents you can quickly get off the ground and then start experimenting right away.